Hey, what's going on, everybody? Uh, welcome back to Paul's Place this week. Um, I thought about a bit about what I wanted to play today, and uh, I realized that I've been on a little bit of a comic book binge lately, so I wanted to play some Injustice, just so uh, we could get some comic book talk in. I know a lot of our viewer base is uh, big comic book fans, so I figured you guys would enjoy this. Um, I'm just doing single battles against the computer. I considered playing online just because um, it would be more competitive probably, but the online in this game is literally butt. <laughs> so it takes like about 10 minutes to find a game, and even if you do, there's no promise what their connection is going to be like. So I'm going to start out as Batman here, and let's see what skin we should go for. Let's go with the Arkham City skin since uh, the boys are playing the Arkham game right now. And we're going to I'm going to try to keep the I'm going to go heroes versus villains every time and I'm going to keep someone within the rogue gallery. So for this one I'm going to go with Deathstroke. Um let's go with uh, Teen Titans Deathstroke. Why not? And we'll just go with medium difficulty <laughs> so I don't so it's not too quick here. Um let's going to go with let's see what's a Batman map? Uh Gotham City. Why not? Um so the yeah the ma main reason I wanted to do this is just because uh I don't know if you guys know this, but I am a very big comic book fan myself. Um, only recently, um, I didn't start out reading a lot of comics, uh, you know, throughout my entire life, but in the past year or so, I've really just been binging it. Um, the only comic I had read in the past, I had read Watchmen and like a couple Batman comics, you know, like the classic ones, like Year One and whatnot. And uh, oh, first of all, forgive me playing Batman in this, because I am not to practice. I've been trying to get better with Batman, but he's just not my hero, as you can tell. And I picked one of the hardest uh, heroes to beat in this game to go up against. But I, I, I like my chances. I'm playing against the fucking computer. I really pray I can win most of these games. Um, but yeah, the reason I picked this matchup is uh, because Deathstroke and Batman actually kind of, not necessarily went toe-to-toe, -to -toe, but definitely were going up. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked. <laughs> definitely went toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe in a recent run of Rebirth. I'm pretty caught up on Rebirth, uh, at least certain runs, obviously I can't read everything in Rebirth, but that's one of the reasons I, I like uh, this game as a choice here, um, is because DC-wise I've been keeping up with current comics, I haven't so much with Marvel, just because I'm not a big fan of where Marvel is right now in their continuity, things are a little bit convoluted and <laughs> it's hard to find the heroes you like just because they've all been replaced by new versions, like Jane Foster being Thor is something I cannot get behind, and shit like that, so... I don't know, I'm just a little disconnected from Marvel, even though I would consider myself probably more of a Marvel fan in general. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying earlier is, uh, while I'm getting my ass kicked by Deathstroke, is I wasn't really a comic book fan forever. I mean, I liked superheroes, but I had never actually picked up comics and read them. I, like I said, I had read Watchmen. But recently, um, I started for the past year, I've been working in a, uh, a call center, basically. So I base most of my job is just leaving messages all day, so... I have a lot of free time to kind of do shit while I'm leaving messages because it's pretty mindless work. And I lost my first game. This is not a good start. <laughs> oh boy. So yeah, I've been reading a lot of comics recently just because I can read comics at work, which is mainly where I get a lot of my comic book reading done. And therefore, I've been reading up on the classics and a lot of other Rebirth stories. So that's why I wanted to play this because oh, I've got some, some input, some discussions to have with you folks. Um, so I'll cut back to the next fight once I pick my character. Alright, we are back here. Um, I'm going to play a Superman this time. It's another character I'm not great with, but I really don't give a shit. Um, I just, I'm just playing this for fun. I'm going to go with the uh, Henry Cavill skin, the Man of Steel skin, which I didn't actually even know was in there. And who better to be the... Oh, actually, I was going to pick Lex Luthor, but if I'm doing Man of Steel, i got to pick Michael Shannon as the villain. Michael Shannon is literally in this game, one of my favorite actors since he played Zod in the movie. Uh, so I gotta pick that when I get the chance. And what's a good Superman level? Fortress of Solitude, of course. So, to continue with what I was saying off before, um, yeah, so I've been catching up on comics kind of binge reading lately, over the past year, just because I can read them all at work. So I've caught up on a lot of the classics, a lot of classic Batman stories, a couple Superman ones, a lot of classic Marvel stories, just because I don't like the current run of, of Marvel, but a lot of the it's old ones I like. Like, uh, not necessarily Civil War, but... Um, a Secret Invasion, I wasn't really a big fan either, but like, a lot of the Doctor Doom stuff is mainly what I'm interested in. And, um, a lot of, some X-Men stuff with Magneto and whatnot. Oh god, Michael Shannon is already kicking my ass. <laughs> this is not going well. Um, but it's cool because, uh, one of my bosses actually at my call center job is a huge comic book fan. And has been for like, almost his entire life. So he's actually been able to borrow me a lot of, like, his comic books just so I can read them on the job. And it's really cool. So he's got, like, a huge collection of stuff he's let me borrow. Uh, he let me borrow the entire run of Preacher, which was really nice of him. Because that's been probably one of my favorite comics of all time after reading that. 
Um, but he, yeah, he has a lot of DC stuff, and so I get to like talk with him at work about the current run of DC. Uh, with Rebirth, I'm keeping up on a lot of it. I've kind of narrowed down the runs I'm, I'm reading right now. Um, Green Lanterns is one I'm really interested in. I've been keeping up with Detective Comics. Uh, Hellblazer, one of the monthly ones, is really cool. Uh, I haven't really kept up with Superman because, like I said, I'm new into comics, so I'm not completely... Like, the whole New 52, I'm, it's a blur to me. I have no idea. And I really want to knock Zod through this level transition, but he won't let me. Come on, give him the kick! Give him the kick! Oh, he blocked it. Um, so, so I've heard Superman. the Superman run is actually really good. It's just been hard for me to get into because the Superman that they're using in the current run is... Um, not, it's, it's weird, because there's two Supermans, like, everything's, it's comic book, you know, <laughs> comic books are never super easy, because they have to keep a continuity for, like, 60 years, so they try, things get retconned, things get changed, there's always <laughs> different dimensions, different alt realities, it's a fucking nightmare to try to keep track of, which is mainly why the, a lot of my favorite comics are side stories, because I don't have to worry about the canon, what I, th that's one thing I don't really like about comics, is, the canon gets really convoluted to a point. Like, even the movies are kind of having trouble keeping track of their own canon. I'm 0 for 2. I'm 0 for 2. I'm picking a character I'm good with next time. Michael Shannon just kicked my ass. And oh, look, he, apparently that's all he needed to conquer the world. Everyone is bowing down to him now. He's been elected president. <laughs> president Zod. Alright, we're going to select a new fighter. Hopefully one that I can fucking win with. Um, so yeah, one of the... Let's see, actually. Because one of the things they're doing... Uh, one matchup I wanted to do, one matchup that they're actually going to do in the comics soon is Justice League versus Suicide Squad, so I want to do a matchup for that. I'm going to be Wonder Woman, I'm going to go with Red Sun Wonder Woman, because that was a, a cool version of her. And I believe the only member of the Suicide Squad on here, yeah, is uh, Harley Quinn, so we're going to go with her. We're going to go with uh, Classic, Classic Harley Quinn, instead of the Mortal Kombat <laughs> Harley Quinn they gave us for this game. And we're going to go on medium, because I seemingly I thought that was going to be too easy for me, but apparently it is not. And what's a good Suicide Squad kind of map? Let's see. Uh, Joker's Asylum? Why not? That'll work. And yeah, so they're doing uh, Justice League versus Suicide Squad run coming up. Uh, that should be just in a couple weeks after this episode comes out. Um, and a lot of people are kind of complaining about it, because if you look at it just from the title, it seems like a redundant waste of time. Uh, because, obviously, the Suicide Squad matched up toe-for-toe -toe with the Justice League is n not even close of a matchup. But And I, and I don't know about any more about it than anyone else does, but I have a feeling that just based on the way the Suicide Squad run is going right now... Oh my god, please help me. Harley Quinn, if Harley Quinn beats Wonder Woman in this, <laughs> it is over. I am hopeless in this game. I'm decent against people. I think I'm just rusty. That's what I'm going with. I'm rusty. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so I'm guessing it's not going to be just a single, like, matchup, like, Wonder Woman fights Harley Quinn, like, right now. Um, but, I mean, th it's probably going to be some kind of, like, eventually, like, some of them will be working together while some of them are against each other, shit like that. Um, but the Suicide Squad run is actually really cool right now, so that's the reason I'm excited for it. The Justice League run has not been as cool or as good or any of that. <laughs> uh, it's been kind of shitty writing so far. That's, I, I... Uh, granted, I only read the first five or six because I gave up out of it after that. Um, but Suicide Squad has been great, so I'm looking forward to it because of that. The way they're writing Harley Quinn, and I'm not, like I said, I've only picked up uh, DC. Rebirth is really most of what I read. I've read a lot of the classics, but as far as current continuity goes. Um, but one thing I like about this Harley Quinn versus how I've seen her portrayed in a lot of things. Uh, you know, in the movie, she was uh, a <laughs> club-owning Joker's stripper girlfriend. Which I wasn't crazy about. But, and uh, what's cool is in the uh, the way the current writer is writing Suicide Squad is Harley Quinn is actually like... Because she's a doctor, you know, she's a psychologist. So they kind of use that. Like, she's, an in she's insane. But the way they write her is you can tell, like, she is educated. Like, she didn't just forget everything she knew when <laughs> she was educated. Just because she went batshit crazy. Like, she would still know that stuff. So the fact that she's a trained doctor comes up and, like, she has intelligent conversations while still being insane, which is really cool writing, and kind of gives her character, hey, I won a game. Holy shit. You're no <laughs> All I needed to do was play Wonder Woman fighting a powerless girl with a hammer. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's, that's one reason I like the writing of Harley Quinn they're doing right now is because it gives her something unique compared to the Joker, which is she's actually, at, at one point, was a normal girl. So that hasn't gone anywhere. 
Um, so let's see what matchup we should do. I, I, I feel like playing Aquaman, not only because he's really one of the best heroes in this game. Um, I was going to do where I would play a, a villain for the hero I was doing, but I just realized that almost everyone on here is a Batman or Superman villain, <laughs> except for the exception of, like, Sinestro and Black Adam, and that's it. I mean, Scorpion <laughs> is in here. Uh, so I, I'll just pick anybody. We're going to go with Bane. Why not? Oh, let's go with the Luchador, Bane. Let's do it. Uh, Aquaman has actually been one of my favorite runs so far. Of course, we have to pick Atlantis here. Um, Aquaman has been solid. Um, so we'll cut back to when we start this battle. All right, we're back. I just had to load the game here quickly and save my footage as we're recording. Uh, so we're doing Aquaman versus Bane, as I just mentioned. Um, what I was going to say was Aquaman has actually been a really cool run. Aquaman was a character I never really respected until I... Uh, I haven't, you know... All I've read is his rebirth run. And there's he's appeared in other comics I've read, but I haven't read any, like, solo Aquaman comics, aside from what they're doing in Rebirth. But Rebirth, in the first issue of Aquaman 2, it acknowledges the fact that he's not a popular character and constantly gets made fun of. Which was cool, because it, it, it was meta, but it also, it levels with you. It's like, listen, we understand. Thank you, like, they're basically like, thank you for picking up the first issue. Let us explain why you should keep reading. Which seems lame, but the way they did it was cool, because they mentioned, like, oh, everyone thinks he's just this dumb hero who doesn't fit in with the Justice League, and he talks to fish. Which is all pretty much true, but they, the thing that doesn't get brought up, which sets him apart, is he's literally a fucking king. <laughs> he, he is a king of an entire nation that, oh, by the way, controls 70% of the Earth. So he's kind of a big deal, and I'm gonna hit Bane with this big deal right now. Oh, oh, he blocked it. Okay, so Aquaman is not putting in a good case right now. But but his current run has been awesome because it's touched on that. A lot of the main themes are him trying to be a king and a Justice League member at the same time and, like, fit in with society. Because a lot of it's been almost, like, political thriller, like... Okay, I'm going to pause that conversation and talk about how dumb this wager system is. I never bet anything because it's the dumbest fucking system. It, all it is is, like, you put things up to chance and, like, potentially swing the battle. I don't know why any player would ever bet on that, unless you're just terrible. <laughs> and that's the only way you can win. Right, I'm gonna grab him. Oh, oh, apparently he can break out of that. Okay. I want to win two in a row so badly. But if I can hit him with this, come on, work, 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 work. What am I, Rihanna? <laughs> Please work, work, work this ultimate. Come on, come on, yes! Two in a row. I'm getting my record up. And again, I picked one of the better heroes in the game, but we, we take those. We take those. My win-loss for the whole game is 56 and 60, so I'm hoping I can end the episode just by breaking that even. So Aquaman is one I would recommend. <laughs> just to, to wrap that up there. Uh, let's see, who else uh, should we go with here? Oh, Green Lantern, yes. But I gotta pick the Jon Stewart one. Jon Stewart was the Green Lantern I grew up on just because of the cartoon. I'm sure a lot of people my age are, probably feel the same way. Uh, then we gotta go with Sinestro, of course. Uh, so Green... Oh, I did want to talk about Green Lantern. I wish there was a Green Lantern level on here. We're going to do Hall of Justice. Um, the Green Lantern's run has been awesome. There's also a run, uh, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corpse, which I've heard is also pretty good. Um, but yeah, the uh, the actual run, Green Lanterns, which are the, it's about uh, Jessica Cruz and uh, Simon Baz, who are the current Green Lanterns. And they are probably, honestly, my favorite Green Lanterns that I know of. Like I said, I'm not the most... Uh, educated person to be basing that opinion off of but just from reading all about them like they and this is kind of a, a, a thing that's been done in comics recently is they're really trying to humanize these characters instead of just making them you know action figures which is cool uh, it's like Simon Baz was a, uh, a, a guy of Middle Eastern descent who was wrongly imprisoned in Guantanamo and the ring actually it chose him while he was in prison and it allowed him to like break free and like so it kind of i'm not sure if I, like that cleared his name because that all happened before the rebirth like his introduction did so maybe someone could clear that up with me is like he like still a wanted man it doesn't seem like it because he's in the justice league um this is totally a guy i think uh lucas mentioned this when they were recording but this is totally a hal jordan animation not john stewart like just him picking giant planes and crashing them into people that is hal jordan to a t um, but yeah, Simon Cruz and, uh, Simon Cruz, oh my god. Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz are cool. And then Jessica Cruz is, um, she has, like, social anxiety, which is, um, a, an interesting trait that a superhero I don't think has had yet. 
Um, so, like, she almost doesn't want to be a superhero, but the ring, I guess, sees something in her or whatever. So, it, it, it adds a cool dynamic where, like, the hero's not even sure about themselves and, like, they're trying to work through it because they're new at this. But, you know, they make a good team and it's a really cool run. And, uh, one thing I also like about it is it kind of gives the characters, like, a chance to breathe, which, oh no. Oh no. <laughs> John Stewart, why? John, why, why, why would she pick him up and punch him with it? That helped her not even a little bit. Oh, that was just mean. But I think I can finish off Sinestro with this if he doesn't block it, and he did not. Oh, hit him with the hammer. Hit him with the Thor hammer and the buses. And then come the planes. Sinestro is done? Oh, not quite. Oh, no. He might still beat me. Come on, hit him with the cheese. Yes, I get that roundhouse kick to finish it off. And that's three wins in a row now for Paul. Don't call it a comeback. And I think, it, is Jon Stewart in the background? I think he might be. I think he might be that guy in the bottom right. Because I, I think they're imagining you're picking Hal Jordan on this. Alright, we're going to do a couple more fights here. Uh, one or two, maybe. Because uh, there's a he couple heroes I want to get to. Um, The Flash, maybe? Green Arrow? Yeah, I'm going to go with Green Arrow. I'm not the biggest Green Arrow fan, but I do love playing as him in this game. The current Green Arrow run in, in Rebirth was okay, I guess. Not a big fan of the art in that. Um, let's see. Oh, I'll go with the Joker. I know, I know Lucas would like that. <laughs> even though you're probably not even watching this, are you, Lucas? Watch my episodes, please. No, I'm sure he is. <laughs> I'm picking the Joker just for you, buddy. All right, so... All right, well, I guess we already played Joker Asylum, but I'm going to let him have court, home court advantage here. Um, so, yeah, just basically my, my thoughts on Rebirth is a lot of it's cool. I would recommend Green Lanterns, Aquaman... Um, Hellblazer is a good one. Teen Titans is really cool because Damian Wayne is actually dealing with Ra's al Ghul now, his grandfather, which is something I don't think they've touched on a lot. So I'm glad they're doing stuff like that. And I love uh, Starfire and Beast Boy and Raven. They're, they're a bunch of my favorite characters. Um, so th those are ones I would recommend. Oh, I gotta hit, hit him with the Ice Arrow. Come on! Oh, eat shit, Joker. Eat shit, you motherfucker! Oh, and I want to clarify one thing. <laughs> In the, uh... In the Batman episode last weekend, Lucas did mention that I wasn't a big fan of the Joker. And I just want to defend myself a little bit there because it's not entirely true. Um, I, I do like the Joker when he's written by good people. Alan Moore obviously did the best job with him and I'm sure other writers have done similar. Um, I, my, my taste in, in heroes, or in, in villains personally, is a little more... I like human motivations or more complicated motivations. Um, like, the Joker is, is cool, and he adds a lot to, like, Batman's story, because he's a perfect foil for Batman. But, he, like, just that madman kind of mentality is not personally my favorite. Like, I, I, my favorite kind of villains are, oh my god, it's this guy kicking my ass. Um, I like villains, like, Doc, like he mentioned, Doctor Doom and Magneto. Um, to a certain extent, Black Manta, although he's kind of just, like, the revenge-driven trope. Um, but heroes who believe they're doing the right thing. Like, reasonably, I really like. Which is one thing that um, I really liked about um, in Doctor Strange, the uh, Mads Mikkelsen's character. And, oh my god, I'm not even counting that as a real fight. Because Mads Mikkelsen's character... Whoops. Uh, Mad Mikkelsen's character... Like, he thought he was doing the right thing. And, like, he almost convinced me, which is why I thought he was one of the cooler villains that Marvel's done lately. And, oh my god, Joker, you literally just set Green Arrow on fire. <laughs> no mercy. Absolutely no mercy. We're, we're going to do one more fight here. Alright, who should I play as? Zatanna is terrible. I refuse to play as her. Batgirl's pretty fun, but <laughs> I don't know if I could do it without resisting the killing joke movie jokes of her banging Batman <laughs> constantly. I believe they only banged once, but <laughs> I'm gonna, I like to assume they just did it the whole time, and that was the reason they had to extend killing joke into a full-length movie, which is to get that long banging scene between the bats. <laughs> I want to play as a villain. Who am I going to be? Could be Scorpion, but that's not really fitting our theme here. Um, I'm gonna play as a little Catwoman. Why not? We'll go with the... Ooh, Selena Kyle skin? Sure, why not? And then we'll go with a hero. Yeah, let's battle a hero. Let's go against Nightwing. That'll be a good fight. Uh, I hate New 52 Nightwing, so we'll go with Classic. And we're gonna go with Medium. I really hope I can win this one. We're gonna do Gotham City. Um, yeah, so I think Catwoman's only appeared in the Batman solo comic, which I'm not caught up on. Um, I think the Gotham man and Gotham girl stuff kind of threw me off initially. And, okay, this is a pretty cool skin, I guess. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of the reason. I'm, I've heard that it actually got better, and like there's a point where like Batman forms his own Suicide Squad, which is pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, I'm not caught up on that shit. 
Uh, I'm not caught up on Nightwing either, actually, just because it has a lot to do with the new 52, which I didn't read any of. Uh, it was <laughs> my, uh, my boss, who I mentioned at the top of the episode, who lends me all these comics, uh, recommended that I stay away from the new 52 because it generally wasn't that well received and almost <laughs> like bankrupted DC pretty much. Um, but they, they've been, that's kind of why they did what they did with Watchmen and incorporating all that and wiping out five years of the timeline. I'm sure Alan Moore is just rolling around in pain from hearing that they're using Watchmen characters. But when isn't Alan Moore a whiny little brat, honestly? He's, he's one of the best comic book writers ever, don't get me wrong. Probably even my favorite. But he is a whiny brat when it comes to his characters. Him and people, and like Frank Miller does the same thing. Where if anyone uses his characters in a way he doesn't like, he's like, no, you can't do that. But it's like, you wrote a comic for DC. It's not yours. Like, you wrote it. It's great, everyone should give you credit for it, but you, it doesn't belong to you. If you want it to belong to you, start your own goddamn character. Uh, oh, alright, so kicked him in the face with a high heel. I think I have a good chance of winning this. I really want to knock him through that level transition, though. A lot of the level transitions in this game are just absurd. Oh god, he's going to knock me through it. Because, th for, like, a lot of these characters are super beings. Like, he see, here's one of them. So I kick him into a building, gets crushed by a wrecking ball, falls down, he's about to get hit by a train, knocked through a sign, crushed again by the train, and he's fine. <laughs> he's just fine, ready to go back to fighting. Not that Superman, that's fine, but with Nightwing and, like, if, she, if he knocked me through that, no, these would be dead people. <laughs> it's a little insane, but it, it's fun. It's something that I wish Mortal Kombat would incorporate to the level transitions, because it adds something to, like, it adds, like, map position as uh, a tactic, which is cool. And that is the dumbest victory pose ever. He created like a shock symbol of a, a of his symbol and then punched it through the ground. That is Batman level branding right there. <laughs> so I wasn't able to even out my score because I went on a giant losing streak. But I just wanted to uh, to come here on Sunday, talk some comic books with you guys. If you guys have any opinions on Rebirth or anything that I mentioned uh, comic book wise, feel free to you know hit it, hit up hit me up in the comics because I'll, I'll engage you. I'm, that's one of the reasons I wanted to do this because. Because a lot of the people I know don't read comics, or at least the current runs of comics. Um, so I, I don't really have an outlet to talk to people about it with. And I am really interested in what they're doing with uh, with the DC Universe right now. So otherwise, join me next week. I'll be playing a different game, doing something else. Uh, but otherwise, have fun, guys. I'll talk to you later.